want to speak to the women out there. You tell me if you think this is fair. I'm 40 years old. I married this woman when I was 33. After only knowing her seven months. And now I ain't get no prenup or none of that. But she didn't have nothing. Me, I had a $1.5 million house in Hoover, Alabama. Me, I had the Mercedes in the driveway. I went to law school. I was the one up studying all them late nights. Yeah. Didn't even know who this woman was back yeah. then. Right? Now, you mean to tell me it took me 40 years to make all this. And this person who I've only known for seven years, seven, won't have of everything it took me 40 years to make. Now, I want to ask all the women, do you think that's fair? Think of me as if I was your daddy or if I was your brother. And you saw me studying all them nights. That was me at Emory all them nights studying. I didn't even know this woman. Now she won't have for what it took me 40 years to make. Yeah, I'm gonna be super honest, y'all. It's not fair. It's not fair to men at all. If you work that hard to build yourself up to a six-figure earner or, you know, you have properties, you do real estate, whatever, just whatever you've worked hard to get, um, I know how hard it is for men to get up there, you know, and how long it takes. I never understand women who take men for all they got. I understand, you know, you have kids with this person, you have a life with this person, and, and that type of stuff i get it it's a beautiful thing but really think about this if you were to take everything a man has and hypothetical you guys have kids what type of woman do you call yourself you're gonna allow that man to be homeless lose everything he has because you want to take majority of it that you never worked for i don't understand that and then if you're a person who cares about people supposedly um how can you say you care about your children if their father's in distress and they go and visit their fa father, they're around that. Don't you care about your own kid's mental health? I don't think that you should be able to take um, half of what somebody got, y'all. That's just my personal opinion. And I know a lot of women are going to be like, well, I was doing the cooking and cleaning and doing all this stuff. Yeah, but you weren't out there working. You were at home laying on your ass. And here's another thing. I'm not trying to be rude, but really think about this. All that time you spend at home, why aren't you guys building businesses? Like if a man told me, hey Tay, you know what, you could chill at home while I take care of everything because if you're listening to what he's saying, it looks like he took care of a bum. I would have started my own business. If a man allowed me to be home, I would start a freaking some type of business, whether it was cooking, whether it was doing social media, I would be making incomes from home. I'm the type of person where I always like to have money in my pocket because I love to get tattoos. I love to, you know, I just love certain things and I love to have money, but I'm not the type of person to always ask somebody for money. I just don't do that. And I was raised, y'all, traditional, like to literally be catered to a man, me stay home, all that type of stuff. But I don't agree with you taking something that somebody worked hard for. I don't understand it. And your guys' mindset, you think that's normal and it's fucked up. And I don't get this. Like I said, you can literally work from home. You can make money from home. While he's out there doing that, you could be making your own income. So if things do hit the fan, if things don't work out, now guess what? You have that money that you've been saving on your own. I see nothing wrong with that. I see nothing wrong with having backup money. But yeah, I know a lot of women are going to call me a pick me and get upset and this and that. But I'm being honest, if I wasn't to be able to work out with a partner that I truly loved, I'm not going to try to take everything they got, especially if we have kids together. One, it wouldn't make me feel good. I've already known that the type of person that I am, revenge doesn't make me feel good. It makes me sick to my stomach. So I know damn well I'm not going to do that. And I've also had a mother who you kept me from my father. So I wouldn't do anything like that. So there's certain things you guys do to people that if it was done to you, you would never want it. Like you can never even handle it. I'd be devastated if somebody took everything I worked hard for. Like, I do YouTube. I did all this stuff by myself. If somebody decided to take up all this and sweep it up under the rug without my permission, I would be livid. And then what am I going to do then? Start back from ground one? Do you know how hard it is? And like I said, I've seen what happens to men. They lose everything. They lose everything. And I will say this, I am not talking about men who are cheating on you guys, and I'm not talking about men who put their hands on you, because no offense... I'm a fair person. If you sat there and you fucked somebody over, I always tell you guys this. If you love someone, love them properly. And if you don't want to be with them, let them go. Because you don't know how mad somebody truly can get. So don't play with fire. So for me, don't cheat on somebody. Don't lie. Don't do anything dumb. But here's my thing, y'all. This is what I think should be, be better. In my mindset, my opinion. If you don't like it, let it fly. I personally want to write in my prenup with my husband because I, I want a prenup, you know, and I want him to feel secure enough to know that I'm not doing nothing like that. I don't want any of your assets. This is my thing. My biggest thing is if you decide to leave the relationship because I want to get married in church and, you know, under God and all that stuff. If you decide to go 
under that and I've never cheated, I've never done a thing and you break up the relationship, I get to choose what happens with the kids and all that. And vice versa, if he cheats or if he does anything chaotic, then um, I get all the say so. Now, if I'm the one to cheat, if I'm the one to do something dumb and all that type of stuff, I'm not a cheater, never have been. But if I was to, he would get custody of the kids and he would determine what would happen with everything. I think that's fair. But I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about what happens with the kids. I'm talking about what happens to the house. I think it's uh, unfair to take somebody for all they got. You know what I mean? I don't care what the hell y'all have gone through. I just feel like it's too much. And like I said, a lot of women, not all, some of you guys wouldn't understand because you don't know what it's like to build from the bottom up and have that shit taken from you. And like I said, you know how hard it is to make that money? And then imagine like this man, he's older. You know what I mean? What is he going to do? Go back to work? His business is shot. You know, I don't think you guys understand what that does and what happens. Oh my God. Like I said, y'all, you'll never care until it's your brother, your father, or somebody that you care, truly care about. But I've experienced being around men who have been around chaotic women who've done stuff like this, kept the kids from them. Uh, you know, and they, you guys will be the ones that beg for the marriage, man. You guys will beg for the marriage, beg for the kids. And then when you got them, you can't even handle it. But like I said, I'm not trying to pick at women and say that you guys are always the ones that are wrong. But like I said, y'all, what is the point of getting married? Marriage is a long, long commitment and it's very hard. But I want to add this last part. I think men need to stop getting with bum women. Like you guys always tell us to pick better, right? And I totally understand. Pick better, pick better. Uh, be strategic with who you pick as your partner. But why do you guys date women who have nothing to their name? I understand that you guys want to provide and take care of them. But those women have never earned a dime. They don't know what it's like to make money and appreciate it. Now, there are some women who were raised in a traditional household that will appreciate that. But that's not always the case. I am being honest. I think you guys should go for women who already have their own things. I'm not saying she needs to have a degree. I'm not saying she needs to, none of that. Just let her have her own place, her own little apartment, her own stuff. Why? Because she already has her own things for herself. Then you know when you come into this relationship, she'll do 50-50 or she knows what it's like to actually want to be with somebody. Like for me, I live on my own. I don't want anything from somebody. I don't need your money. I don't need your, I don't need any of that stuff. I just need undying loyalty and somebody to have my back. Love me, respect me, and take care of me. It's simple. And obviously some other things too, but that's what I mean. There's a lot of people out here who take care of themselves and they just want somebody to um, share their happiness with, share their peace with, share their money. Like, you know what I mean? Do not get with people who are bums. I'm telling you right now, they don't even make money on their own to appreciate it. And so when you're giving people stuff all the time, I'm telling you most of the time you're going to get taken advantage of. And we see a lot of these women taking you guys for all your money. So guess what? You guys need to take care of who you're picking. Take care of your mental health, take care of yourself and be mindful of the women you're choosing to call your wife. Because like I said, this is the most devastating feeling I can only imagine. I never want to experience getting married. I never want to experience having kids with somebody and this happens. You know, where we don't see eye to eye and we're so disgusted with each other that like we become... Mm. I don't know, y'all. I don't like that feeling of wanting to take somebody for all they have and then watching them go homeless or watching them suffer. Like, how does that make you feel good? I don't know. But anyway, this is just an opinion, y'all. Like I said, uh, if it doesn't fly, let it, you know, let it fly. Don't get all uh, worked up. It's just an opinion. Ah!